Hi everybody and welcome to Travelling with Russell and welcome to a new video and welcome to Moscow. Now we're not too far from the centre of Moscow today and I'm here with a very well-known YouTuber all the way from St. Petersburg. And what's the name of your channel? Aussie Spy. Aussie Spy. Now Aussie is kind of the slang word for Australia. Now whereabouts in Australia are you from? Uh, from the eastern side of Australia mm -hmm. in New South Wales. New South Wales in Sydney. More or less Sydney. Yeah. More or less Sydney, yeah. So I'm from Perth. Sydney, Aussie Spy, traveling with Russell. Now we're gonna go check out a beer shop. Of course, Australians love beer, and I hope everybody does too, right? Exactly, we love <laughs> beer. Let's go and check it out. Now, this is the shop we wanna to go to. Now, it's very unassuming, and it's very tucked away in the suburbs here. On this road here, you can see a lot of the apartments nearby, and this older looking, kind of Soviet type building here with these open balconies. I don't know how they can stand out on those balconies, but there's a couple of unique features about this beer shop. Now, it has over 3,000 types of beer, and it has 200 tap beers. How is that? 200 tap beers. We love it. 3,000 types of beer. Exactly. Let's stop talking about it <laughs> and get us some beer. <laughs> Let's go. Now, Happy New Beer, everyone. How's that for a bit of advertising? Happy New Beer. Come on. I don't know about these steps after you've had a couple of beers. These might be a bit hard to negate, but let's go on inside and check it out. Now, the first thing we see are these taps here. Now, if you've not seen this kind of thing before, maybe you're from somewhere else in the world, you can basically get 200 types of beer on tap. Have a look at all of these. Now, what do you, uh, what do you think so far? One. That's one me over. <laughs> now, there's actually a uh, screen up here that separates the beers by type. So depending on if you want lager beers, cider beers, fruity beers, and then you've got all the choices. You just let them know what number you want and they're gonna produce your bottle of beer for you. And then it wraps around the corner here. Obviously you're gonna order your beer from the counter at the front where the lady was. There's also staff walking around all the time in here so they can give you any kind of assistance. You're not necessarily gonna probably look at these for your choice, you might look at the list so you can choose it by type, but 200 types of beer. Now, this actually has a Guinness World Record, right? Guinness World Record. Very according to the shop, they were telling us a little earlier that it's got the uh, Guinness World Record, or at least the world record, mm -hmm. of the number of uh, beers on tap. On tap. And they believe in store as well. Right. So yeah, now... At least in Russia and Europe. Uh-huh. Now, the way that they actually prepare the beer for you, can you see here these containers on the bottom here? So you can choose half a litre, one litre, and then these, basically, they're just very simple plastic containers. They're kind of like soda bottles. Um, and then they actually put them to the taps. And then they fill it up. And then the lid's right here just to cap your beer off. And then you just pay at the counter. And off you go. Now, obviously, we're not going to walk around and see and check out all 3,000 beers because we're going to have like a four-hour video but I just thought I'd sort of highlight a few here and there. Now, this first fridge is kind of interesting. What did you spot in the fridge over here? Well, I spotted over here we've got like a uh, milkshake <laughs> dipper, mango flavor. Uh, we've got a double chocolate stout, obviously in English. Uh, waste beer, oat smoked tomato goss, with a uh, light chili Italian <laughs> edition. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, coconut and ice cream. Coconut and ice cream beer. That's a very interesting flavor combination. <laughs> when I've had the things like the uh, chocolate stouts before, yeah. craft beer events in St. Petersburg, they're okay to drink one. It's not my sort of beer, really. I'm not a dark beer drinker or combined with sweet flavors mm -hmm. like chocolate. But um, that would be a very interesting flavor to try. Yeah. Ice cream porter hazelnut. How about spicy tomato, cherry ale, 
Let me know in the comments, everybody. Would you have you had these before? Have you seen them before? What do you think of them now? Oh, sorry. There's just one more. One more. This caught my eye. Grapefruit double IPA. Double IPA. Double IPA. <laughs> double IPA. Yeah, yeah. You, you call it IPA. I call it IPA. 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 Yeah, how the industry calls it. <laughs> Indian Pale Ale. Now walking around a little bit further downstairs here, there is a few of the beers that are separated by countries. So we've got uh, Czech beer or Czech Republic. And then there's over here a whole section of German beers. So there is going to be some that you might recognize and some that I've never seen before. And maybe you watching at home probably haven't seen before either. There is a lot of craft beers here, not necessarily mainstream that are in the corner store and liquor stores. Does anybody, do you watch The Simpsons? What about yes. some Duff beer? Go Duff beer. Yeah, Homer Simpson would be happy with this place. Now, where we originally walked in right over here, you'll see the staff helping some people uh, buying some beers. And then there's this mezzanine level, which has even more beers now. 3,000 different types. We're gonna see quite a few choices now. Down on this bottom shelf here, this is actually mostly the non-alcoholic beers right here, but there's some from Australia there, Bundaberg, which is pretty cool. I'm not really a big uh, zero alcohol kind of person, but there's plenty of choices. And then there is uh, some of the beers from Asia here. Did you notice any of the different countries? I think China, uh, there's Thailand, Vietnam, uh, Japan, Leo's from Thailand there. So yeah, plenty of choices. If you spot any there, uh, Aussie spy. If the you're sp spying that, any. <laughs> I immediately see as I walk around the corner, the yeah. label's got me. Oh, We have uh, Cooper's beer. This is the uh, Australian beer made in South Australia. Mm -hmm. And this is their dark ale. Did you drink Cooper's back home or? Uh, not very often. Yeah, because it's really a South Australian beer. It's more South Australian. Versus in New South Wales, we're more Tui's. Yeah. Uh, beers like that. Yeah, in Western, in Western Australia, it's Swan Brewery. Um, yeah, we don't really drink the different state beers. But this one's also Cooper's. Huh. Australian beer in Russia. Come on. And obviously they've got the canned version as well. Oh, uh, cool. More cans, which Russians aren't used to this size can. And These. you can probably uh, say in the comments below, you don't see very often yeah. in Russia a 375 ml right. can. It's yeah. always 500 ml. Right. And then in America, they're 333 mils. Yes. So yeah, you've got a bit of a mix. Here's some Italian here. I recognize Peroni. Now, again, I don't recognize a lot of the brands here. No, no but a lot of Belgium beers here as well. Belgium is a huge part of this upstairs section. Now, I really hope this is kind of interesting for everybody. Definitely something different. Please tell me who's watching this. Uh, do you have anything like this where you live? Any kind of comments? Uh, do you like this kind of uh, unique video? Now, I know as you're walking around, you're kind of uh, a bit lost for words. Yeah. And kind of when we first walked in, uh, prior to the start of the video, we did, we did a little couple of minute reconnaissance, but we were the same way before we started filming even. A couple of minutes, it was about 30 minutes of reconnaissance. <laughs> yeah. There's so much here. So many choices. And it's just, there is, you, looking here on the shelf, you see bottles like this, which are corkscrew like champagne, but they're not champagne, they're actually beer. Mm -hmm. All they sell here is beer. Right. That's it. And it's some, uh, pretty much, you could say, unless it's a unique brewery, like a craft brewery from somewhere, uh, like America or Australia, they won't necessarily have it. Right. But most major brands, they do. Mm -hmm. Here's a lot of different Russian craft beers as well. These are probably microbreweries to a point also, right? The yeah, in, in Russia, from what I understand, because uh, I've been to quite a few craft uh, festivals in St. Petersburg, 
what happens is you get the big breweries like Baltica, mm -hmm. which is the main Russian beer brand here. Uh, they will sublet part of their brewery to some of these smaller companies. Um, and I did notice on tap there is a couple of St. Petersburg uh, beers. Interesting. In St. Petersburg. Interesting. Amongst yeah. all these thousands I haven't seen. Yeah, the there's uh, obviously quite a lot of branding. It's very interesting too, not necessarily all the Russian beer. Okay, some has Russian uh, words and it's in Russian uh, language, but there's quite a lot in English, which is very interesting uh, to see. Uh, it's also a very big habit here with the craft breweries, is they don't sort of uh, sway towards the Russian language and calling their beers a Russian name. Mm -hmm. They just find some really cool uh, sort of English name. Right. Uh, or just call it what it is in <laughs> English. Right. Which is good for us. We don't have to think about what the beer is. Like We don't have to think that this is a, a raspberry porter. Right. We just know that... We just see it on the label. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's just so much here. Now, part of the reason I came to this store, apart from the fact I wanted to see this myself, is a subscriber of the channel let me know about this place. Actually, someone mentioned in one of the comments that, Russell, you've got to come to this store. You've got to check it out. And I decided to make the trip across Moscow and bring a close friend with me so that we could have a look together. So you can see here from this upstairs uh, mezzanine here, as we walk a bit further around, even more canned beers, bottled beers. Uh, does anybody have a preference how they drink their beer? Do you prefer it out of the fridge? Do you prefer it at room temperature? I mean, there's obviously uh, a difference, but uh, a lot of these ones on this fridge here are very interesting because there's a lot of, uh, I guess, branding going into the beers. Not necessarily kind of maybe the particular company that's produced it, but I wonder, are you uh, more drawn to these different uh, pictures on the front of the beers. Uh, what about a tropic smoothie, banana and pineapple beer? How is that for a different beer to drink? Interesting. What about bad beat? Maybe you lost at poker. You need some bad beat beer. And then continuing walking around this upstairs level now. The reason I sound so excited is because I just keep seeing more and more and more choices. Now, um, I just wouldn't know where to start. You know, what would I choose? Of course, we've got the back storeroom here, but you know the uh, amount of choices. A lot of these are the cider beer. Do you call cider beers or are they just call ciders? Because they, they're fruit. Ciders. Fruit based. Yeah, just fruit. Uh, alcoholic drinks. You know, there's a, uh, what, what about a bit of swanky? Do you want some swanky? Some swanky cider. It's, uh, what about uh, Dickie Crest? There's some uh, a winter carol. It's very interesting, all these choices. I've not seen any store like this anywhere in the world. I mean, I work in the alcohol industry. I was working on cruise ships. I was dealing with duty free, so. But to see this many choices of beer is a whole new thing for me. Now back down on this downstairs level, they have a beer glass section that just keeps going and going and going. Now, most of these are all the branded uh, glasses, so if you've got your favorite type of beer, you should be able to find <laughs> the actual unique glasses associated with your type of beer that you like or whatever brand it is, but if not, these would make great gifts for people. and. All the way up the top there. Now the only one that I recognized was the Blue Moon here, which we had on the cruise ships. They were serving this one. It was a very popular beer for the crew members on board. And if just buying beer wasn't enough, beer glasses, you've even got all of the fish here, the cured fish, smoked fish. There's some meats, some cheeses. These are kind of like string cheeses, the ones up the top here. And then there's some aged, uh, look at that, some shrimps. Dried shrimps, I guess, cured shrimps. 
you ever seen that before? No, nor have I. And then some uh, aged meats. Pretty much very normal in Russia. You can get these in supermarkets, you can go to beer shops, but just the different amounts of choices here. And they've also got a, well, this would be a candy wall in most stores, right? Yes, but, but it's a nut one. But it's a nut wall. Yeah, you can get different types of uh, peanuts, different flavors of peanuts. And these are kind of uh, the flavored ones over here as well. So if you want different kind of tasting nuts, I don't know how to describe it. I'm not a, a nut connoisseur. Well, but over here we've got uh, cheese coated. Oh, cheese coated. Yep. And these are wasabi. Oh, there we go. That makes sense. Barbecue flavor. Uh, Dijonskaya. I can't remember what that is. <laughs> uh, that's just a mix of all the flavors. Uh, smetana, so sour cream. Sour flavor. cream nuts. Um, Mexican. Uh, another form of wasabi. Um, and it goes in the same flavors all the way out here. Like you got cheese and garlic as well. How cool. Now we just noticed one other type of tap beer here and it's in the glass jar. Check that out. It's a two liter bottle that you can get or a two liter jar of beer. I've never seen jarred beer before. Have you seen that before? No, never. Jarred beer? Uh, we're just looking at the, uh, the brochure for it. Uh, it's called Three Day. Three Days. Yeah. Maybe something to do uh, with the process of making it. The artwork on here is very Soviet aesthetic artwork. So I'm thinking maybe something as a throwback from the Soviet Union. Uh-huh. Wow, that's very interesting. Yeah. That's just going off the brochure. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Check that out. So the lady there just unscrews the jar, puts a cap on it. Now we're doing this a little bit uh, Putting her under pressure here to get this right, but then she puts the label on and you get a two litre jar of beer to take home. I guess you hide that in the cupboard with all the food. So when you, you want to hide from your wife or your partner, you hide it with the food and no one knows. Exactly. <laughs> That's for when the boys come over. <laughs> now, if you're curious behind the scenes a little, I've got a little bit of a surprise. Well, surprise to myself as well. We can have a look at the tap room. Now, if anyone works in a bar, maybe they've seen this kind of thing before, but 200 types of beer. Have a look at all the pipes everywhere. How do they possibly know which one is which? I guess they're very well numbered and logo uh, lettered up here, you can see. Um, but how interesting is this to see uh, all the kegs, so some are in kegs, some are in these kind of boxes here. I guess it just depends on how they're supplied, but this is essentially a cool room, but with 200 types of beer. Now, the one thing that's very noticeable, obviously, is the, uh, the smell of yeast and the fact that a lot of these are uh, craft beers. So some of them have the labels on over here. Key keg, I guess this is maybe the company that uh, basically kegs the beer. Again, I'm no expert to this, but check this out. Now, interestingly, from that upper level, they've actually got these little spy holes, so you can actually kind of see in here, but I uh, just kind of asked, could we have a little, have a look in here? And it's just super interesting to see. Now, again, if you work in a bar or in a pub, maybe this is nothing new, but have a look at all the pipe work. Now, I thought I'd just show you how the process works for you to get the beer. Now, Aussie Spy here is gonna order himself a beer. Now, you know which number it was, right? 120. 120, so a Brumann Lager, International Pale Lager. Now, the guy here is gonna, essentially, you put the plastic container on right there, turns the tap, and very simply, the beer fills up right here. Now, we decided to get these little miniature beers. These are kind of pretty cool because you can actually sample the beers essentially, right? So yeah, there's 150 mil. Uh, there is a half liter. There's a one liter and a one and a half liter option here of all of the choices. 
and hopefully he's not nervous for the camera but the beer comes out and he just puts a little bit of gas in there at the end I think for the bubbles he's got a little bit of a special process here now again we're sort of showing you the full uh, kind of tour of this place because it's just super interesting 3,000 types of beer 200 taps and there we go just like that he gets his beer okay everybody so we thought we'd kind of end the video here in the vip room why not <laughs> now they've actually got a little uh i would always call it like a little cave a little man cave yeah, it's kind of like in the man cave. You and big screen TV, which you can't see. Yeah. And these big, comfortable uh, benches. Yeah. Um, you got a window with a view of some flats. <laughs> for the, maybe you see a babushka or two. You never know. And we got ourselves a beer each, so yep. we're going to we're gonna have a taste. So basically, these are little kind of a sample sizes, right? So good for one beer. There's a lot of... Simple as that. Now, we both got different beers here, so it's gonna be obviously not where we're gonna, yeah, it's not a full beer, but it's it's good. Yeah, so mine's called the Brumen Lager Craft Beer. I don't know if you can see it on screen. And mine was Jiggly. We, uh, I'm not too sure of the uh, translation, but mine was called Jiggly which is kind of named after the car, I think, so. Maybe. Yeah, all right. Cheers to you. Cheers to you. All right. Mm. Mm. <laughs> That's a good bit. Yeah, actually, after walking around here a fair bit. Mm. Uh, now, the only thing with this, this is actually a private VIP room. This is not where you can drink as a customer, by the way. We, uh, we kind of asked nicely of the staff to let us come back here for a little second. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, again, it was by request, a, a channel member, a channel subscriber actually recommended to come here. And I think it was a great suggestion. Great recommendation. <laughs> yeah. Keep those recommendations. Yeah, coming. please in the comments, let us know what you think. I think the video has got way too long now, but uh, we're gonna sit here and finish our beer. Yep. And uh, yeah, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, Aussie Spy, if you want to check out his channel, link will be in the description. He has uh, content, uh, a lot of it's in St. Petersburg, you've also travelled by train. Yeah, mostly in St. Petersburg, that's where I started my channel, so. Mm -hmm. But I'm evolving into doing some trips here and there, like coming to Moscow sometimes. Yeah. Some other cities. And again, his content's in English, like mine, so he does have a little bit better Russian language knowledge than I do, but yeah. Post a comment, let us know what you think. There's another video for you to watch right after this one. I'm not sure where it'll fit now because we're probably, our noggins are right in the middle of the video here. So thanks everybody and I'll see you in another video. Bye.